The number one reason people start social media marketing agencies and end up after one week or one year with no results and no clients is for one simple reason. It's because they don't have a system that brings them clients. And if they do have a system, it's most likely a system that relies on them. So if they don't do the work today because they didn't book any calls yesterday and now they're not motivated, well, then they're not going to get any calls booked for tomorrow. This is the typical trap that almost every social media marketing beginner falls into. You start outreach, you learned it from a YouTube video or a course, then you realize that outreach is the really hard Delivering a service to your clients, getting them onboarded into your business, handling a sales call, in my opinion, those things are way easier than the outreach piece. So you, as someone who's new enough to this space, you start outreach, you figure out it's quite difficult, then you get demotivated, and if you're demotivated, you're not gonna do all the outreach you're meant to do, so you've put yourself in this negative spiral. One more day of outreach leads to demotivation, demotivation leads to you slacking off and doing less outreach the next day, and so on and so forth, until you're at net zero. So today what I want to give you is the automated client acquisition system that I personally built, used, and then automated to sign clients for my agency without me being involved in the process. Since I've been able to sign over 355 of my own social media marketing clients, I know the system works and I've also taught this system to other people who have then copied and pasted and implemented this system and it has also worked for them. So will this work for you? Yes, if you actually use it. So with that, we're going to roll the training. This is the training from one of my programs where I give you the exact system and I walk you through step by step how to set it up and what it entails. Enjoy. The time has come for us to now look at client acquisition on autopilot. So as the sentence goes, we want to basically be able to acquire new clients without you doing it. Okay. So without you doing absolutely everything that's needed to get a client across the line. Okay. So ideally what we want to do is we want to give this to someone else, right? It's your time to give your lead gen and your outreach strategy to someone else, but we will only hand it off to someone else once we have proven the following points okay now it's really important that you don't try and hand it off before you've had success with it simply because you can do it right and you might be able to get results but it's not going to be crystal clear that you're going to get results if you can prove it works build an sop and a system around that now we know it is proven it actually works and we just have to hand that off to someone else and watch over what they're doing okay so point number one is that it's got to be easy to follow right if your lead generation strategy is super confusing and there's like a what, 110 steps to it that's that's not good right we need to break that down and make that a lot easier so again coming back to our framework anybody can do it we want to make it so easy to follow that anybody can do it so that is point number one point number two which is probably even more important than easy to follow is that look it has to actually pr produce the end result that you want so in this case we're just going to assume that your lead gen and your outreach strategy the main goal right before getting leads is to book calls and book meetings right that's literally it the more calls we can book more meetings we book the more clients you get now point three is that it has to be able to basically take people in a bit of a journey right or on a journey so taking them from being a prospect to a lead and from a lead to a client if your every system is really good at let's say taking a prospect and turning them into a lead but not really converting them into clients we need to work on that a bit right? Because that's a very, very key part. We don't want to be paying someone just to get us prospects and leads if we're not converting on those leads and actually signing clients. Point four, look, it has to be done by someone else. This links back to point number one, being that it has to be easy to follow. So if it's very high level, very technical, and just very, very confusing, and you don't even know what the process is yourself, then it's going to be very hard to hand that off to someone else, right? So we have to make sure we get that in place first. And then finally, right? Like with any system, you don't want to just build it, give it to someone and never look at it again. Because if you do that, how do you know if it's actually working, right? You need to make sure that you can manage it from a distance and you can optimize it when you need to. And what I mean here by optimize it is that if you have a system built out, right, and you can manage it from a distance, right, you can overlook things and you can see how it's performing. That's good, right? That's one part of the equation. The second part is that we have to be able to now give feedback and tweak everything within the, the system that we want to tweak to get a better end result. So if the system is just too complex, where if you know you were to change something, it would take your VA, let's say, hours and hours to relearn how to do it, then it's too complex. You've got to break it down 
more, right? And we've got to make it more easy to follow. And yeah, we've just got to make sure that it can be done by someone else, okay? So you personally should not be responsible or solely responsible, right? You can still book meetings yourself, but you shouldn't be solely responsible for booking your meetings, right? Simply just because if you are, again, it's just you're limiting your scalability. You know, you're very much working in the business, not on the business, which is a big premise of this program. We're trying to get you into CEO operator mode. You're working on the business, pulling the levers, optimizing the levers, but not actually doing all of the little bits that need to be done. Right? So look, you need to either automate or delegate this activity. There is multiple ways you can do this. Um, our lead generation for our agency is twofold. So it is 50-50. Some of it's automated and some of it is delegated, but it is not me personally doing it. Like I mentioned here, ideally you're going to use a combination of both. Just because if you go for a fully automated approach, from my experience, right, if you're running an agency or a consulting business, it's not going to be as effective. Okay, so you'll need more leads to get one client, right? Whereas when you take the approach of automating some of it, but having the personal touch and the personal element, right, which you will delegate to someone else, I find that that works better. You get better results. And if we can get better results, it makes sense to do so, right? Look, booking meetings is a high ROI activity. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, why don't I just do it myself? If it's so high ROI, why don't I just spend all my time doing lead gen, booking calls, booking meetings, and you know, I'll leave my team members to handle operations. Well, the reason being is that in order to scale, you need to oversee this activity instead of physically doing it, right? You can book meetings yourself and get to five or 10K per month, not a problem. Look, you can probably get to 20 or 30K as well. But when you're trying to get to that 50K per month mark, again, where you're not working 24 seven, right? If you want to work 24 seven, go ahead, do everything yourself. But if you're trying to build this into a business that is systematized and that does run without you, then you need to basically manage this from a distance. Again, working on, not in the business. As I mentioned here, unless you want to work 12 hours a day, you need to get this out of your hands. Okay. So someone else can book the meetings for you, right? You might be looking at this right now thinking, look, I don't even know what my system is. You know, I just know that I'm good at what I do. I have conversations with people and I'm able to book meetings. Well, that's not good enough, right? And unfortunately, we need to break that down. And we need to look at how you can build that system because someone can book, book meetings and calls for you, right? You might think that they can't, but they definitely can. And I'm, I'm telling you that from experience. Look, if you scale up your outreach and you book more calls, you will then spend more time on sales. So if you're spending all of your time booking meetings, you're not going to have enough time to prepare and actually show up with enthusiasm to your sales calls. You know, if you're doing lead gen for six hours a day and you've got, let's say, two or three hours of calls, like how are you going to be super, super enthusiastic if you spent all day just on your phone messaging people back and forth? You're probably not. OK, now, look, you can have a VA generating leads pretty much all day. You know, you could have multiple VAs as well. We use a kind of a kind of a system where we have multiple VAs, right? So we've got uh, one VA in Europe, so that's on a very similar time zone to myself. And then we've got some other VAs in the Philippines. So you don't need multiple, right? When you're starting off, one good VA will do the trick. You know, you can have a VA, depending on their work schedule, working anywhere from maybe two to eight hours per day. Some VAs will be happy to do way more and they'll do 10 or even 12 hours per day. But um, yeah, look, you can take then that eight hours that your VA is spending on outreach and you can put that into one, like I said, taking more calls and showing up with more enthusiasm and actually improving your close rate and also building more systems. OK, because again, this is what this whole program is about. It's getting you on the business activities, not in the business and building systems is one of the big biggest on the business activities. You know, these systems, look, they can make you more money and they can save you more time. So if you can continually do this where Every time you get overwhelmed with a task, right? Let's say you're booked out and you are doing all the lead gen yourself. You need to then hand that off. And the same thing when that happens for sales and you are completely just overworked and you're doing sales calls all day, you need to then hand that off to someone else. So you can go back to the drawing board, you can build more systems and you can do those to make more money and save more time, right? Now, look, if I was doing eight hours of outreach every day, my business definitely would have not gotten to 50K per month. Now, like I said, you could do all the outreach yourself and you probably could get to 50K per month. But this is under the assumption that you don't want to work all day yourself. You want to have a business that gets you results even when you're not working and when you take a day off. But if you don't want that and you want to work every single day, you can do it all yourself. But look, 
from my experience, for my agency anyway, with what we offer at the scale that we offer it, definitely would not have been able to get to 50K or above per month if I was doing all the outreach myself. Wouldn't have worked very well, okay? Now look, give you some context, right? When you're handing off a system, specifically your outreach, of course, you now have to pay someone to do it. So it just means that your ROI, right, on each client you sign is going to be slightly less, okay? So it's going to cut into your profit margin slightly. So you're probably wondering, what does that actually look like? So with the average system we have, it really varies. We've had months where we're signing clients for $20, right, in, in total costs. On average, right, on average, anywhere from $50 to about $150 is the average amount of basically wages we have to pay to a VA, and then we've got to pay for some softwares to get a client signed up, which is really, really good. You know, even if you're selling a service that is, you know, 250 per month and that's a three-month contract like this is still going to make sense but obviously the higher ticket you go the more this makes sense you know if you're selling services for multiple thousands per month you can afford to probably spend multiple hundreds to sign a client so this number might even be two three or four hundred but it's still going to be super profitable because you're taking all of that time that you're spending on outreach and putting that into again those activities that make you more money and save you more time here now, before we hand it off, right, I just want to get some of this kind of housekeeping out of the way. We need to make sure that you know the key reasons why your service can actually benefit your clients. So look, the assumption is that if you're in this program, you probably have a couple of clients already. But look, you do need to make sure you are crystal clear on this, even if you do have clients, right? So like, what exactly are you offering to suit their pay points and be super clear about it? Because all of those things, right, solving their pain points and the benefits that you give to them like they are going to be in your outreach system. Like that's what the outreach is going to be about, right? You're pitching them and you're essentially offering to solve their problems. You need to be really clear on that. You need to be really clear with what your potential clients are struggling with right now. Like what exactly is it that they are not getting good results with? Sales, poor quality leads, maybe no social media. Get clear about that. Know what your competitive advantage is, right? You know, you are not the only agency owner or coach or consultant out there. There is a lot of us in this space and you've got to make sure that you stand out from the crowd. Look, business owners are approached by marketers and consultants all day long. And I know this from my, my own experience, right, of actually being a business owner. I get pitched from agencies and marketers all day. And there's only a small, small percentage of people that I will actually book a call with because most people are just basically doing it in the wrong way and they don't know what even makes them unique. Now, you need to know what your clearly defined pitch is, right? So in one sentence, you know, who do you help? What do you help them with? And why should they actually go with you, right? If you haven't done any of that, take a screenshot of these right here, right? One and two, three and four, and get to work. So my intention was that you watched that training. You now know the exact system that worked for me and that you now have the knowledge to go out there and build that system for your own business. So now the question in your mind shouldn't be, how do I do outreach or how do I book meetings or how do I get clients? You should realistically know all of that from this training. The question now should be, are you going to implement it? All right, are you going to actually use this thing that you've just learned or are you going to just go to another YouTube video and then not get any results? Now, at the end of the day, you're human. And I know from giving out free information on YouTube that just because you know how to do something doesn't mean you're going to do it. So if you feel like one-to-one -one mentorship is something that would actually hold you accountable, having me and members of my team check in with you, have calls with you every week, and actually hold your hand throughout the process, if you feel like that would actually help you, then you can book a call with us below this video and we can have a chat to see if you are a good fit to work with us.